Alright, so, um, yeah, we're back. Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's me, Ziltwix, and right now, but, uh, right now we're about to continue more Infamous 2 beta videos. Now, connecting from the splitter, and there are two portions hooked up to the splitter right here, are an object modifier and a s brief a script monitor, something of the sorts. Uh, we already know what, what these commentaries is. Initial phase gives information and causes the first way to attack Cole. So, for the splitter, when the mission starts, remove wave 2 from the world. So, when you end, um, when you basically start the mission, wave 2 will disappear and they won't be active until you incapacitate wave 1. So, it's very logical. Um, it's basically our first step but to becoming video game designers, just, just like a bit a little tiny baby version of it. So after that, when that's connected to that, um, show the mission brief for five seconds, defeat the waves of enemies, then after that we add to our connection, and the final object modifier is order wave one to assault coal. Now, I had that little bit tidbit messed up, but reverse, whatever, let's just continue. Now, but it happened to work very well. Now, we have another monitor expecting about the def um, defeat or inca uh, incapacitation of wave one. And it's the same thing with wave two. When, um, and it's connected to this thing called the combiner. Now a combiner can basically combine a multiple, um, multiple monitors to um, a set wood camera. <laughs> uh, multiple uh, monitors to this combiner, so about four. And uh, basically, as it says clearly, when all wave one are incapacitated and defeated, and all wave two are incapacitated and defeated, the player successfully completes the mission. So basically, right there, that's basically our logic. So we're going to try this mission right now. And I'm just going to use the amp only. So check this out, check this out, check this out. <laughs> watch me, watch me do some. Watch me do some homework. Watch this. Defeat all the waves of enemies. So it already taps in. I could add more to do. Um, see, I'm already died. Yo, who? We. So that didn't work out as planned, but you know. Or that. So we could add more amp upgrades and whatnot, but I'll get to you guys on the next set of videos, which I'll be doing. Ha, huh, he threw a grenade, but he missed, like a douchebag. Ooh, over the fence. Fatality. Who's next? Wave two? Let's do this, come on. Oh. Only with amp, baby, only with amp. Not the, not the sports drink. The weapon, baby. Oh, yeah, that's right. Battle. Gain 62 XP. Com um, completion time was 40 seconds, so that was a very, very easy one. Um, now, I'm actually going to go all out and rape the shit out of them with my awesome electromagnetism energy type shit. Ha! Ah, you thought it was going to be easy. Nope! That's right. Diversity, baby. Oh. Oh, what was, how did he dodge that? Next. Wave two. Artillery bull, baby. Where are they at? Where are they? Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Check it. Oh. Surprise. Oh. Let me drain some of your energy because I'm out of Mocha Cola. Yes. Yeah. Check this out. Check it. Whoa. Boom. Yeah. Combination skills right there, baby. I'll show you guys some combination skills about later on in a couple of videos that I've decided. Now, that was it for battle. So let's move on. I'll show you guys some more later on. About. I'll probably add some more to this. Just a bit of portion, maybe going up to 20%. I hope that uh, what Sucker Punch does when the full game comes out is that you can actually level up based on how much you create. Um, and if you're not a creator, then, you know, 
oodles for you. Um, if if the creator completes this amount of uh, missions and whatnot, all oh, um, basically they add more to their editing skills and whatnot. Basically, so let's say it goes up to two hundred percent, that would be good. I, I don't know if it would be a good idea, but for for the people who love to create like a little big plan and whatnot, then it probably would be. Um, alright, next is, let's see, Canon, what the fuck is this? i never seen this before, so, let me just try this out, hmm. Hey, what's up? Home skillet biscuit, no, but, oh, man, it is hot as mocha. Oh, cool, check this out. I've never seen this before. What is this called? Uh, the, 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 uh, Canon. Sweet! Alright, so... Investigate with Agent Quo. So, uh... Yes, I would like to cancel that. Um... So, I'm just gonna wing this right now. I don't really know what I'm doing since I've never seen this, uh, mission before. I just, like, scroll down very quickly. So, let's go through it. Initial logic. This you know, what am I doing? When the mission starts, connection, show the mission brief, quo. And these are the scripts right here. Now, you can set it either to pop up where um, it stays there for a certain amount of time, like, for example, 5, 10 seconds, so on and so on. Or it can be control where the player who really doesn't give a fuck, <laughs> me, would just press triangle and move on. But to those who would, uh, yeah, player control. Uh, so, let's check it out. Quote, Glad you got my message, Cole. There should be a secret around here. Follow me. And with that, our great dialogue. <laughs> Moving on, then it goes to move along the path. Tell Quote to move along the closest object in Quote path. So, Quote will run to the Quote path. <laughs> How much logic can it get? So, this editor monitor plus this um, this little mission brief equals this script command. And the script command can uh, do anything, basically. Not anything, but, you know. Move along path. Move along, lead to a point, lead the player along a point, lead player along path, play animation, stun, stand, something. Or oh, move to a point, move along path. Let's just go move along path. Let's just stay with it. Just stay with it. Now, with these ones, invulnerability prevents coal from taking damage. Now, with this, to set vulnerability, you need to start the mission. Did I just say? That's, that's obviously, obviously. What, what am I doing? Dear God. So, after you start the mission, put in an object modifier and. What you can do with these is set damages response for coal and set it all the way to zero percent. Get me? Get me? Got it memorized? <laughs> Who? To any source. Any source. It could be anything. Even a fucking trash can could kill Quo. And I've tested it. <laughs> and reaction to damage? No. So it'd be any damage could just tickle the shit out of coal. So. That's for invulnerability. So what I'm seeing right here now is like a little path, a little path. And, uh, let's see. I don't know how you get this path, but I'm sure we'll delve into that into the next couple of other videos. I know I've said that before, but you know what I'm trying to say. Just, just go with it. Just go with it. Cool path. You can see, stretch it all the way over there. Just, just keeps on going. You can plant it and whatnot. But let's continue on into the next video. So I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day and goodbye. I like oodles and...